Hello everyone! Welcome to an explanation video of each stage of the game. This video will have many sections, each timestamp so you can easily skip to or find what you're looking for. My name is Xnose and I've been playing Bee Swarm Simulator since 2018. And I can help you guys fully understand when each stage of the game is and why. Before we get into the video, please check out my Twitch stream and my Discord server. Both links will be in the description. Enjoy the video! Before I get into detailing when and why each stage of the game is, it's important to understand that a lot of this is merely my opinion. But there's more of a reason for this opinion to exist than just because I feel like it is right. If you disagree with me, that's totally okay, but I would prefer if as a whole the community shared a common ground because this specific topic is one that divides us in a way that it really shouldn't. And a debate over if Petal Wand is beginner, mid, or late game shouldn't be one that exists. The beginning of the game is the moment you first launch the game with zero bees in your hive all the way until you finally reach the 35 bee zone. The reason why that is is because the amount of time it takes to get there nowadays is usually around 1-3 to three days in game time. Well, while I agree that a majority of players will feel like they're in the middle of the game when they have a blue backpack and a porcelain dipper or rake, the fact that you're stuck in the area where back when the game started used to be considered the end of the game doesn't give you a good look. Thinking that they're in the middle of the game when they haven't even begun to see what the game is really like isn't fair to people who are playing in the middle of the game and are compared to that. All that aside, to note that you have yet to speak to every single bear at this point is a safe way to say that you are still starting out and have yet to see more. The middle of the game is the moment you first unlock the 35B zone all the way until you finally get your second spirit pedal. The reason why that is, is because although you are in the final area of the game as of recording this video, you are still working towards entering the gummy lair, you don't have all the event bees unlocked, and you're missing all the spirit petals. You're working on getting all the middle tiered items in the game that build into late or end game gear, with the exception of coconut canister and cobalt crimson guards as of recording this video, so then why do I stop? at the second spirit pedal. Well, there's three pedals to obtain, so the second one is like right in the middle. And it's also when at this point, if you have made good choices or managed your time wisely, that you're able to see yourself flourish in the late game section of the game. The late game stage of the game is usually when you're super close to, if not already have, your Supreme Star Amulet and are working on or already have your Mask of Choice, and are close to, if not finished, your 30th Spirit Bear quest. This is when you're getting Grandmaster badges, buying the Supreme Saturator, and rolling your hive to be one of three colors. You feel like you're on top of the world, and that makes me king! See? See? But you're nowhere close to an endgame player, and you're still missing to even start your journey of any difficult to obtain endgame item. Getting 50 bees and finishing every quest in the game will definitely feel like a clear indicator that you're in the end game stage of the game. From here on out, you can choose whatever you want to do. You want to get an end game tool collector? Go for it. You beat the game and you deserve to do what you want. I hope this helped open your eyes to see the stages of the game in the way that I see them in a way that you hadn't before. And if not, I hope you're able to follow my guides in a more clear way now. I'd just like to take a moment to thank everyone who watches my streams as well as everyone who helped me make this video as I couldn't have done it without them. If you want to catch one of my streams, head on over to twitch.tv slash xnotes. The link will be in the description. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, I hope you enjoyed the channel, thank you so much for watching, and I'll smell you later.